So, good morning everybody. Today, uh, we will do the second part of our processing tutorial uh, of drawing multiple lines. The, yesterday, we uh, draw have drawn a single line, which went pretty well and was pretty simple. But after hours and hours of trying to copy down the code to get multiple lines, you will get disappointed because processing does not allow that here. What we need instead is a function for multiple lines. I have made it yellow here so that you can see it better. And this function consists of of some parts. First of all, a for function, and in brackets we initialize something. Then we have a variable that's called ent, but you can call it different if you want to. Uh, then we have ENT smaller than 60,000 and then we have ENT plus plus that means as much as ENT is equal to ENT plus 1 if you uh, consider this in a mathematical way of course it's nonsense but in processing and also in other programming language this makes sense for a so called for a so called circle function i think yes yeah, circle function it must be and the function stops at 60000 so we need to activate this circle function so you write for first bracket ENT uh, INT then you write for example let's say L is O semicolon space L smaller then 60,000 semicolon L plus plus you can also give this variable different names it doesn't really make a difference now we have to enter the parameters for the lines so we enter line bracket random bracket with bracket closed then you have to make not a semicolon but the other one and then you uh, write random bracket height bracket closed same thing then you go below and you can even copy those two into the next line if you want to be faster and you can't make a mistake so like that and then you make a second bracket closed and a semicolon. So then we have to end the function we started before with this kind of bracket. So this is what we wanted and now we will look at if it's good on the screen. 
we have a mistake. I can't believe this. Oh, I can see. Just like that. And now it must work. And what we can see is we have so many lines that we just have here some white space. Now we could say the window is much too small for so many lines. So we have to change the fact in the function size and then we have 600 600 let's try if it looks better yes it looks well, better but um, I think there is some color missing in there So if we gave them a random color it would for sure it would be quite fun. So let's do so, but first we will smooth them. You will see what this what changes this you write smooth put two brackets and a semicolon. Then we run it run it and what we can see is if we watch closely uh, we can see that it is quite yeah clean and it looks more like a painted picture that's the sense of the smooth um, function so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna stroke the lines so you write stroke then you uh, we want to have a random color to make all, everything a bit cooler you write random again put a bracket and now we have to be concrete so we write O to 255 then we write random again O to 255 and then we write again random O to 255 and that's everything close also the second bracket now you call up our program and what we will see is something like that. That looks kind of cool at least. And it will look of course different every time you open it as we have random parameters in there. for color and for the lines as well but you will say now that's just a picture not a program we've just programmed the picture cool a picture I can do nothing with it well you can next capture we're gonna do is the so-called void function. Till next time you will have to wait but then I can show you how we're gonna we're gonna proceed to make this picture that's a program a real picture you can work with so until next time, room 1993 processing for beginners.